good afternoon, evening, um, testing of things. Not a whole lot's going on here. I recently saw one of the videos, one of the channels that I watch. The gentleman was talking about how he went from zero to a thousand subscribers in his first year, and then between this, I don't remember the number of years that he was talking about, but then he got that many. Oh, it was the first seven years to a thousand, and then between the seventh and eighth year, he got a thousand. And what he was talking about was that the suggestion was to have a theme, not... First is was batteries. Great subject, but really there's three parts to it. Not a whole lot of variations. But the theme of empowering people, of helping them build product, projects, and getting things moving in their mind, and getting action out of... and particularly out of parts that he has. He's not someone that has a lot of resources, and that is a good topic that I relate to. That's why I got involved with this channel. Why I liked his channel is because he was working with what he had. Uh, quite often when we have problems, there's either, quite often when there's a lot of work being done, there's two things. It's a resource that you have that you can use, or you have a problem that needs to be solved. When those two things happen together, you need heat in your, live someplace with a lot of solar, available. Uh, there's a lake up in the Andes, I think, that has a solar farm in the lake, and the glaciers on the mountains help reflect it, and the fact that it's at a high altitude just makes the efficiency beyond what most people will see at their houses at sea level. So, when there's weird things like that, that, that can line up, things can go well. Uh, as you can see, in back room, this is just a room that I work out of. It's my apartment. It's my home. I share it with my wife, our seven cats. I work at this table. Uh, I use a background modifier for the work meetings because I've got laundry and just stuff on my walls. Uh, the theme for my YouTube channel. Probably the best way of describing it, if this works, the audio picks up, would be the WTF. Uh, there's just a lot of questions. There's a lot of things that are just interesting. Uh, I'll probably be doing advice from your Uncle David. If you want to spend more time massaging your breasts, spend more time massaging your back. You can apply it however appropriate to your situation. Things that come to mind, I play a lot of D&D over the years, so a fair amount of, our, of this will be D&D. Uh, Star Wars, Schmog, Lord of the Rings, or Star Wars. Uh, definitely a geek. I'm a nerd herder. My wife made that Jungle Book. Uh, let's see, Jack. Not really for placement. Sorry for all the. Oh, maybe I shouldn't show that video. Uh, the background thing. It was not for profit. No money made. Uh, everything. Anything. Bring up a subject. I've done stand-up philosophy. One of my favorite things was just ask people for a subject, and then we'll poke fun of it at ourselves with it. As I tell my employees, I'm a manager of nerds, give me ammo to fight for you, please. Uh, not fighting for you, this is a YouTube. But give me some ammo, give me something to work with. I like I said, D&D is a topic that I'll be talking a fair amount about. Uh, for example, on the topic of that, uh, body armor, armor in D&D, it raises your armor class, making you harder to hit. How does wearing plate mail make you harder to hit? Why doesn't it just reduce damage? It reduces damage in the sense that the character is not hit. Yes. Um, is it accurate and realistic and lifelike? No, but anytime you add more rules, you add more time. For the sake of gameplay, it works. It really does. For the sake of gameplay, I'll roll an attack and damage at the same time. Just one less action to take when that does come up. Uh, advice from cats, since I've got one on my lap and his brother or his sister on my hand here, try to put herself on the wire. Feed them at the same time every day, and they will wake you up. Far more effective than any alarm clock. 